Welcome to Countant. In this lesson, we are going to be looking at the cost of factoring. We are going to go through an example on how to calculate the cost of factoring. Now, if this video will be of value to you or you learn something from it, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our video. So what is factoring? Factoring is a type of debt finance in which a business sells its accounts receivables, that is invoices, to a third party called a factor at the discount. So what is happening here is that a business has accounts receivables that it needs to collect from its debtors and it needs money now. But the accounts receivables may not be received or the money may not be received now. It may be received after 30 days or 60 days. But if the business needs money now, it can either approach a bank and get a loan, but the interest rate may be, might be too high for them. Or it can approach a factor and when it approaches a factor it's going to sell its accounts receivables at a discount and the reason it's being sold at the discount is because the factor is incurring some form of risk because not all the debtors may pay so once a company sells its accounts receivables to a factor the factor will be responsible for collecting the money for themselves from the debtors while the factor will give the money immediately to the business but obviously it's going to be discounted or it will be a lower value than the actual value of the accounts receivables because of the risks that I mentioned. So let's go through this example here. We're given an example here and we are told that Dick and Delph Limited is a fast growing manufacturing of manufacturer of gardening equipment. It is considering factoring its accounts receivables. Its sales are 4 million, 4 million rand per annum all on credit it has been offered the following terms by a factor so the company has approached the factor and these are the terms that the factor has offered 75 percent of each invoice could be drawn by dick and delph immediately on presentation that means the, f the factor will pay them 75 percent of their invoices and interest will be charged at one percent above prime prime is presently 15.5 percent what that means is that if the business was to go to a bank it would get a loan at 15.5 percent interest and the service fee will be 1.5 percent of sales we're also told that dick and Dell's average collection period is 60 days and then we're also given some information here uh, if Dick and Delph were to factor, it could pay its suppliers in time to take a 2% cash settlement discount. And we are told that its annual purchases subject to a discount are 40% of its sales. In addition, the use of, of full factoring is expected to save the firm part of one employee's salary of 30,000 rand a year. The employee can be deployed to another department to avoid the cost of a new hire in, the department, in that department. Telephone stationery and other uh, incidental costs saved are expected to amount to 5,000 per annum. What is the effective cost of factoring? So we are going to estimate the cost of the, the net cost as a percentage of the amount being borrowed. The cost of factoring is as follows. Now as we calculate the cost of factoring, at the end we want to see what the percentage of that cost of factoring is and compare it to the percentage that the bank can offer the, the, the loan at which is at 15.5 percent so what do we need to remember we estimate the net cost as a percentage of the amount being borrowed so let's begin what is the first thing that we'll do we'll have to calculate what is the finance charge so what is the finance charge here we are told that 75 percent of each invoice could be drawn by dick and delph immediately on presentation what you also need to pay attention at uh, is that it, we are told that the sales are four million rand per annum and it's all on credit but we're also told that dick and delph's average collection period is 60 days so we need to pay attention to that 60 days period of collection so we're not going to just take the four million rand so let's see when we are doing the finance chart what is the first calculation we do we're going to take 60 divided by 365 days because we are told that's the uh, collection period, the average collection period, times the 4 million rand because that is what is on credit, all the sales, and it gives us an amount of 657,354 rand. So that is how much needs to be calculated within the next 60 days. So we are told that 75% of each invoice could be drawn by Dick and Delph immediately. So that means 75% uh, of this amount could be drawn immediately by the company. So we take 75% of 657,354 rand 
and we get an amount of 493,150 rand. So this is what can be collected immediately from the factor. The factor could pay the company this amount while the invoices are worth 657,354 rand. So you can see that there is a 25% discount at which you will sell to the factor and those are the conditions by the factor. Now for us to get the finance charge, we take that amount that is going to be received. So we're going, remember, we are told that interest will be charged at 1% above prime. So it's 15.5%, that is the prime, plus the 1%, that is the interest above prime. It gives us 16.5%. And we take that amount times the 493,150 rand to get the finance charge or how much we are going to pay as a finance charge when we are going to receive this money from the factor. And the finance charge is 81,370 rand. So we put that under finance charge. So we've just dealt with the finance charge. We take the accounts receivables that will be received within the next 60 days. That's why we're given this amount here. And then we multiply that by 75% because that's how much the factor could offer. And then we take that amount and then we we factor in the finance charge which is 16.5% because it's interest is charged at 1% of our prime plus the 15.5% so that's how we got the 81,379 now that's just the finance charge we're also told that the service fee will be 1.5% of sales so 1.5% of sales so we need to figure out what is the service fee well we take 1.5% of 4 million rand remember we told that the sales were 4 million rand which gives us an amount of 60,000 rand so there is a service fee for doing the transaction with this factor so the amount there is 60,000 rand for the service fee now that has given us, us the cost of factoring or the actual cost of factoring. So we're going to add the two together. Finance charge plus service fee gives us an amount of 141,370 rand. That is the actual cost of factoring or that's how much it's going to cost us to factor. So you could stop there. If we're not given this information at the bottom here, you could stop there. And you could say that's how much your cost of factoring is and then you can calculate what the percentage that is. But we are also told that there are some benefits to factoring uh, when we do the factoring. First, we are told that if Dick and Dell were to factor, it could pay its suppliers in time to take a 2% cash settlement discount. So if we factor, we are going to get cash settlement discount from our suppliers because we will get the money from the factor immediately and we'll be able to pay our suppliers early. So that is why we will get that settlement discounts. And we're told that its annual purchases subject to discount are 40% of its sales. So now let's see how much is that? Remember, we are told that it's 40% of its sales, which were the purchases. So 40% of 4 million, which are the sales, gives us 1.6 million rand, 1,600,000 rand. So that is the first uh, that is the first thing that we need to do. Now, what is the 2% of that 1.6 million rand? Well, we take 2% of 1.6 million rand. It gives us 32,000 rand. That is the cash settlement discount we will get if we are to factor. So the supplier discount will be 32,000 rand. That is the benefit of factoring. Remember that. And then what is the next thing that we are told? We are told that in addition, the full factoring is expected to save the firm part of one employee's salary of 30,000 rand. So if we factor, we'll be able to save part of one employee's salary of 30,000 rand. Why? Because the employee can be redeployed to another department to avoid the cost of a new hire in that department. So the salary savings is 30,000 rand. So we'll put that there. And then what is the next one? We are told that telephone, stationary and other in incidental costs saved are expected to amount to 5,000 rand per annum. So we're also going to have a saving of these costs of 5,000 rand. So we're going to put expenses savings 5,000 rand. So now we have the actual cost of factoring which we calculated above here. But then from factoring we are going to have some savings if we take the deal with the factor. So we're going to save these amounts here. So now let's calculate the net cost of factoring. So the net cost of factoring takes the savings into account. So what we're going to do is that we're going to take the actual cost of factoring and deduct all the savings to get the net cost of factoring. So we're going to take 141,370 Rand minus 32,000 Rand minus 
30,000 rand minus 5,000 rand because these are savings so we need to take them into account which gives us an amount of the net cost of saving of 74,370 rand so that is the net cost of factoring now we're asked to calculate what is the effective cost of factoring well we're, we've gotten the net cost of factoring but now we want to put it into percentage we want to see what percentage that is and compare it with the bank the uh, interest rate that they will charge us if we were to go with them or if we were to get the loan from the bank which was 15.5 percent so what we what are we going to do we're going to take the net cost of factoring 74,370 rand divided by the amount which we were to receive from the factor remember we calculated it earlier on where we took 75 uh, 75 percent of the accounts receivables for that 60 days so that is 493,150 rand it gives us 0.151 or 15.1 percent so from looking at that what can you see if we go with the factor our cost of factoring percentage will be 15.1 percent if we were to go to the bank the interest rate will be 15.5 percent so what are we better off doing we're better off getting the money from the factor because the interest rate is lower or the cost of factoring rate is lower than the bank's interest rate so the effective cost of factoring when taking the expected savings into account is lower than straight interest charged or lower than an interest rate would be, which would be charged by a bank. That's why we would go with the factor. So this is specifically why we are calculating the cost of factoring to see what is it going to cost us if we are to go with a factor. And it will help us also, it helps us compare with the bank uh, interest rate to see where what would we be doing, what would be better for us to do. So I hope that has made sense and it was not confusing. If you have any questions or queries, leave them in the comment section down below and also tell us what level of studies are you at. We'd like to know that which helps us when we are making such videos. And if you have gained value from this lesson, please consider subscribing to our channel and liking our video. Till next time. Cheers.